In this video, you'll learn how to merge layers in ArcGIS Pro. This map contains two polygon layers, Norway Land in light green and Norway Minor Islands in dark green. For your project, it would be easier to manage all of the polygons as a single layer. You'll use the Merge Geoprocessing tool to create a new layer containing all of the land areas. On the ribbon, click the Analysis tab. Expand the Tools Gallery and click the Merge tool. This tool combines multiple input layers into a single new output layer. The input data sets must be of the same geometry type, for example, polygons and polygons. Choose Norway Land and Norway Minor Islands. For the output data set, accept the default name and the default location, which is the project's geodatabase. For field matching mode, accept the default choice, automatically generate fields consolidated from all inputs. Click Run. A new layer appears in the contents pane. The merge appears to have been successful, placing all of the features from the two input layers into a single output layer. Next, you'll check how the attributes were merged. Right-click Norway Land underscore Merge and click Attribute Table. The Min Zoom and Orage FID fields only contain values for features that came from the Land layer, while Zoom Level and Name fields only contain values that came from the Minor Islands layer. Open the Attribute Tables for the two source layers. The Min Zoom and Zoom Level fields contain similar information. Both fields recommend zoom levels for displaying the features on web maps. You'll merge these two fields into one in the output layer. The Orage FID field only exists in the Norway land layer. It isn't necessary for your purposes, so you won't keep it. The name field only exists in the Norway minor islands layer. You'd like to preserve the names of islands, so you'll keep this field, even though most features will have a null value. In the geoprocessing pane, for field matching mode, choose Use the field map to reconcile field differences. The field map will help you control how the attributes are merged. Click Edit. Under Fields, click Feature Claw 2. The 2 label tells you that there are two source fields contributing to this output field. The information under Table tells you that both input layers have fields named Feature Claw. The contents of these two fields will be merged into a new field in the output layer. You'll change the name of this output field. Change both the field name and alias to type. Under Fields, click Min Zoom. There is only one source for this field from the Norway land layer. Click Norway Minor Islands to add another source field from this layer. In the Source Fields list, click Zoom Level. Now, both the Min Zoom and Zoom Level fields will contribute to the new field in the output layer. Under Fields, click Orage FID. Only one of the tables contains this field. You don't need this field in your new layer, so you'll remove it. Also remove the Zoom Level field. You have already included the Zoom Level values in the Min Zoom field. The last field without a 2 label is Name. Earlier, you decided to keep Name as an output field. It is OK that it has only one source layer. Click OK. Now that the field map has been configured, you'll rerun the merge tool. Leave the add source information to output checkbox unchecked. This is unnecessary because you already have a field which tells you whether the source layer was land or minor island. Click Run. The tool runs. Because you did not change the name of the output dataset, the Norway land underscore merge layer you created earlier was overwritten. Open its attribute table to confirm that it contains features from both input layers and that the fields were merged correctly. In this video, you learned how to merge two polygon layers into one new layer. You used a field map to determine how mismatched fields would be merged in the new layer. Read the tutorial, Merge Multiple Layers into One, for more details about this workflow.